What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad 1412. Excited to be back with some NBA 2K My Team gameplay. I know it's been a little while. I don't have a lot of My Team gameplay on my channel. It's Joaquin Noah. There's a dunk for my opponent. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about my My Team. This is a classic, by the way, man. It goes all the way down to the wire, man. So you definitely want to stay for the whole duration of this video. A great classic right here, man. Very happy to present games like this to you guys, man. It's um, it's why I really started the channel, to be honest, man. But with no further ado, I got Jordy Mix at the two guard, Marcus Saw at the center right here, getting a nice hit fake, getting the putback. Darren Williams at the one, Joe Johnson at the three, and I had Josh Roberts, Josh McRoberts at the four. But now I got um, um, I can't think of his name, Anderson, Ryan Anderson at the four. I put him at the four with Josh Roberts because he had a better jump shot. I don't know if that's going to have a positive effect on <laughs> on on my gameplay while I'm playing with this team. Um, he, he hasn't really been that positive of a face. He had like two or three points in this game. I, I played a couple of games with Ryan Anderson. And, uh, he's okay. He gets a dunk right there, actually. So um, he, he's okay. But, I mean, the thing of it is, I, my power forward, I think the way I use my power forward, I don't really need him to shoot a lot of threes. So... I might put Mick Roberts back in eventually. I don't know. We'll see, man. But my opponent's team is pretty good, too. Brandon Jennings as a backup point guard. But Darren Williams also at the one. That is younger the power forward. He has, uh, who does he have? Yeah, Joaquin Noah at the center. You guys saw Joaquin Noah earlier. I believe his two guard was um, OJ Mayo. And at the three, he had someone that was pretty good. I couldn't remember, man. So he had a pretty solid team, man. And, oh, no, he had, um, he had Paul Paul George. How could I forget, man? Paul George at the three, man. So, you know, he had a pretty good squad, man. So I got a pretty formidable opponent here. Like I said earlier, it was a classic, so of course it was a formidable opponent. Kevin Durant getting a nice pull-up jump shot right here, man. So easy to make that with him, man. It's a much, that's a rookie, uh, Kevin Durant. Look at this right here, man. Wide open, man. Why not, man? That's very good basketball IQ. If your man is slacking off, cut to the basket. That is basic basketball as Kevin Durant. It's a thunderous dunk. He also has the, um, the um, rookie Kevin Durant too, and we both have him on the bench or something. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that ironic how we both have him on the bench? We gotta have some some scoring on the bench, man. As Kevin Durant, there's another bucket right there. My Kevin Durant only had four points. I'm not even sure how many points this Kevin Durant had. I get a nice little assist from Darren Williams and Marcus. So that's a nice combination for me as I go up nine points in this contest. I'm trying to figure a way to extend the lead. I get to Marcus Saul right there. He gets another layup, man. Marcus Saul, he's kind, of, uh, he's like that. He's one of my favorite centers in the league. He's kind of like that guy, like, you ever play with a guy on the court that's like, like, like a bit, I'm talking about a big guy, that's, that's, that's so reliable, man, you just rely on him, man, you just, you just know, if you throw the ball to him most of the time, he's going to make something happen, man, Marcus Saul is without question one of those guys, man, very reliable big man, man, as, as I shoot a nice little jump shot right there with Ryan Anderson, man, putting me up back 11, like I said before, this is a classic, so eventually, my opponent comes back, man. And Jocky Noah hits a baseline jumper. I was a little shocked that he hit that. I know he can hit that shot, but um, I know his jumpers that he usually hit is at a at an angle, not necessarily a baseline jumper in, in real life. So I was a little shocked he made that, but it, I guess uh, it is what it is. A steady is young, takes a wide open three, and why not, man? That was a very good shot by my opponent. As he's coming back, man, misses the shot right there. Marcus Saul getting the rebound, passing to Jordy Meeks, Jordy Meeks to Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson getting a nice smooth layup right there, man. Joe Johnson has a very smooth game in this game, man. You definitely, uh, <laughs> you definitely gotta appreciate that, man. I always like this game, man, especially when we play for Phoenix and Atlanta, especially Phoenix in particular. But I always thought he was, um, he was always one of, kind of one of my favorite players to watch, man, on the low. That's Kevin Durant knocks down a nice wide open jumper right there putting me up six points man a couple seconds after going to the third quarter uh i, I was gonna say brandon mclemore the <laughs> mclemore you know try to get the layup right there but doesn't um doesn't get it right before the half he's gonna try to throw something up ryan anderson i'm sorry chris anderson with a nice little fadeaway but of course we know chris anderson can't shoot fadeaways top of the fourth quarter man i got to try to extend this lead but my opponent gets a nice assistant job came nowhere no had 12 points in this contest led the team for my led the team in scoring for my opponent nice little fast break play right here he gets it to paul george and why not man you know paul george's defense are bringing him within two man check out this man nice little play david williams relaxes a little bit on defense just too much man that's too easy for brandon jennings man brandon jennings is too good you gotta get up on him just a little bit more because i get the nice layup with d will man putting me up two points so he's threatening to come in and, and tie the game up he gets a nice little uh nice little bounce in, oh nice little over the head perhaps sorry that chris anderson but he misses it gets the rebound he actually got that put back i don't know why they didn't record but he actually got that put back tying the game up now he has a chance to take the lead and he will with this crazy fadeaway been making the score 40 to 38 with under two minutes left to go in the contest my turn to burn see what i got i do my famous play action fake i mean not play action i'm sorry <laughs> pick and roll but it doesn't work i actually end up getting a shot clock violation it's a good defense for my opponent he set up two points i got the ball 
again. I gotta find a way to man to get a point, man. So I like, you know, I'm just gonna take it with D Will, man. He gets this crazy layup over two people, man. I was a little shocked that he made that. My opponent has a ball, man. Game tied, 55 seconds to go to see what he can do. He passes to Paul George. Why not? He's one of the premier players on his team. He decided to go. He wasn't gonna go to the rack with Paul George. He looked like it, but then he decides to fall back a little bit. And passes it to the boy. Uh, that looks like D Will. Yeah, passes it to D Will. D Will doing some um, triple threat maneuvering. See what he got. I think he did a little bit too much triple threat maneuvering because I end up he ends up getting a shot clock violation. And now I take it. So now I have the ball. And I'm thinking to myself, man, I, I'm just going to score. I don't care how many seconds left on the clock. I'm just going to score whenever the opportunity presents itself. So, so I got D Will at the top of the key. He said I set the pick with Ryan Anderson. It doesn't really work, but D Will has a nice little wide open jumper. So I take it. I let you know what it's open. So I take it. So I have two points on the board. My point is. Has the ball, D Will, his D Will, like he wanted to take the jump shot, but decided to pass it. Gives it to the boy Thaddeus Young up top. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's Paul George up top with the ball, like, dribbling the rock, man. See what he can do, man. Second to go into the contest. He's down two. He got to make something happen. Paul George goes to the rack. Let's see what he likes, so he passes out. Thaddeus Young passes it back to Paul George for the tie. No! Woo! Woo! And to see him miss that felt so good, man. Oh my goodness, man! I'm, I'm gonna tell you why, because these these my team games are a little bit tedious for me to play. Just a little bit. I know I say that often sometimes, man. When I when I'm doing these classics, man, but it's just it's tough for me to get a win because my team my team is good, but it's not up to par with other teams, and I'm still in the seventh seed though. So um, luckily, I'm not going against teams that have five or um, six goals. Or have that can play as many goals as they want to and have sapphire players and all that craziness like that. So, I mean, that is coming. So, that gameplay will be coming soon. But I got, I got to step my team up a little bit, man. I got to, um, I got to, I got to play this game just a little bit more, man. I do have a lot of coins due to the, um, online rate matches, man. So, I can see if I can do some maneuver and maybe get a better two guard or better, you know, better point guard and stuff like that, man. <laughs> we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens, man. Shout out to my opponent, man. Much love, much respect. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button for your boy. This is your boy, LaunchPad1412, aka Mr. Classic, and I'm out.